Hey, what's going on guys? Clip from Denny with On Your Own Outdoors. Hey guys, so we're over here with Randy from XOP yet again at the ATA to talk about a new product that they're fixing to come out with that y'all know is near to dear to my heart. So understand as we go through this, this is basically y'all's prototype, right? It is our prototype, yeah. Um, so it is a get eyes on here to let guys see what's coming. So no, when they get all this thing worked out, you can most certainly are gonna be able to find um, the review here on our channel. But I'm gonna let Randy kind of take this away and kind of run through everything and explain what we're looking at. Yep. Uh, I'll hold the bottom up. If yeah, you don't yeah, mind. great. Yeah, yeah. Yep. We want to hold up the bottom. So, so we'll just kind of start with it, and this is the first thing you notice, right? So this is their climber. This is the bottom of their climber. Completely folds flat. Has the same working mechanisms as uh, their old climber does. Yep. So for the guys that want to feel more secure, like I say in the prior videos, you have that here because it pushes in and it twists down. So. Correct, yep, yeah. So we stuck with the, the pin lock system on here and we did that because it's it's secure. You can get it in, it latches really good uh, and you're able to lock it in position. So there's no risk of that ever opening up in a climb. Uh, also on this one, we have our side discharge belt. So you no longer have to worry about how long your belt is. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you want to get on a small tree, you don't have to worry about having a separate belt from that to a big tree. Yeah. You're going to have a belt that's long enough, this thing will go on trees from 6 inches up to 24 inches. That's awesome. And I can yeah. tell you one thing from the climber that I use now, which is a different belt style, it doesn't kick out to the side. Yep. So where my top's at, I'm always bumping into it and worried that I'm going to knock my top down. Yep, so. yep, yep. So you'll be able to get this out the side. Uh, this stand's going to come in at 13 pounds, so it's going to be a pretty light stand, fold super flat. Um, some unique features on it, it's got this Duratec finish. And if you feel that, it's almost like a skateboard tape. Absolutely. That stuff just grabs your shoe. And when it's wet, it grabs that much better. It's crazy. Uh, no squeaking on it. You can take a, you can take a, your boot, rubber boot, twist it back and forth. That thing don't make a noise. So it's a, a great finish that's on there. Dimension-wise, you're at 18 and a half by 26 inches. So this is not a, a little tiny micro Yeah, it's not, it's not this, tiny. Yeah, this it's light, but it's still plenty big enough that's user-friendly. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a full-size climber. Uh, 350 pound weight rating, so we're not forgetting about our big guys that like climbing. Uh, we're sticking with our 350 pound weight rating, all of our stuff, ASDM make tested, DMA approved. Um, if you look over here at the seat, this is actually a prototype of the seat. Uh, and we made this, as, uh, the, you know, so the purpose of this is actually, it's kind of dual purpose. We made this as a seat to test our climber, but the real purpose of this is as a, a saddle climber platform. Okay, so I, I don't know if y'all heard that saddle climber platform. That's what this seat was actually designed around. Yep. So that's that's the reason I've seen on the forums already guys talking about the size of the seat. Well, understand that's because it wasn't originally designed yeah. for the actual seat of the climber, and he's gonna kind of go through some of the changes they're looking at. Exactly, yeah. So our, our seat will be a little bit shorter. We're gonna keep the width on it. The cushion on this is going to be about 17 inches wide by about seven inches deep. So you heard that. There yeah. is a cushion. It's just not yeah. here. <laughs> it is. Yeah, and there's actually, it's a four layer old cell foam cushion with a D DWR coating on the outside of it. So it won't absorb any moisture. Awesome. And it's, 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 uh, it's a real upgrade from actually our previous XOP cushion where it won't settle down over time. Okay. So, uh, so that's a, a great cushion that's going to be on there. Again, you can see how flat it folds. This this top portion right now is coming in at five pounds. That's awesome. When we get to our seat, it's going to be lighter yet. But um, uh, th there's also a lot of people are calling this a um, hand climber. It is just an open face climber. It's going to come with a web that goes underneath a two inch wide mesh that goes underneath of you, and it's going to be fully adjustable for different heights where you can sit in that and use it as a sitting climb. Awesome, so that's, I'm glad you hit on that because that's something I didn't know about and we actually talked about this for the yep, last yep. two days. So whenever it comes to, and I've already had guys asking me from the show um, about the sit and climb option because you know me, I don't use that. This is how I climb. However, for the guys that are worried about the, to me, the big yep, deal is yep. 350 pound rating and they're gonna put the web on this so you have that option to go ahead and use it as the sit and climb. Correct, yep. So it's still gonna be dual use even though it looks just like a hand climber style. Exactly, yep. Yep. so you'll be able to use it as that sit and climb and then that web will actually come up and it'll be attached to the back side of the stand. Okay. So that, yeah, you can, if you don't, you know, you're, once you're not using it or if you don't want to use it at all, you can put it up underneath there and it's out of your way. That's outstanding. Yeah. So, uh, and these will be, retail price on these is going to be $4.99. $4.99. Yep, yep. That so, is awesome. Yep. That's so. awesome. I mean, it, Whenever it comes to all the other climbers and everything, everybody knows, like I always talk about XOP because it's made for the blue collar guy. Like it's made for us that want to go out and hunt, 
and we don't want to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. Yep. And you're talking about a competitive climber. I can't wait to get one. I promise you I'm going to end up swapping over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? so, Good deal. Super cool. Well, hey, guys, that's all we got for y'all today. Again, this is Randy with XRP. Randy, I appreciate you Pleasure. letting me come Pleasure by. To have you. Hey, guys, make sure you stick with us because I'm going to make Randy go through all their other stuff in their lineup in the next couple of days and get some more videos out to you guys. So uh, until next time, guys, good night. <laughs>